Welcome back to my channel! My name is Alexa Kalbel and I'm a wedding photographer based in Germany. In today's video I would like to show you behind the scenes from the real wedding which I photographed at 30th of December. If you like you can also see the couple photo shoot from this wedding uh, and you can for that you can simply click on the link above. So let's get back to our topic, getting ready of the bride. Usually I come to the bride when she's almost ready, like her makeup is almost done, the hair are done. And I do it because brides, they usually feel themselves more comfortable when uh, the makeup is ready, the hair are ready, so they're like ready for the day, looking glamorous and beautiful. So that's basically the only reason why it starts a little bit later. Then, guys, I started to take pictures again through the window, but also this time I started to use my flashes. I used Godex ID 200 Pro Flash for these pictures, and as you can see, I was also holding my glasses, which, I don't know, I found them on Amazon uh, for, I don't know, like 10 euro, and they make really an amazing effect. As you can see, the flash, like the light from the flash, it was hitting the glasses, and then I was holding the glasses uh, in front of my lens, and then you're able to create this nice, like uh, summer bright effects which I, I, I think is, is pretty cool you know it's something different it's something something unique and when I photograph uh, the, the weddings I usually don't take only like this kind of creative pictures with the glasses with the flashes I'm just you know I'm trying to deliver like a nice mix of the natural pictures of the creative pictures because I think for the clients it's also a little bit more interesting you know to have some clean pictures for their wedding album and then some creative pictures that's why I think the mix is usually the best according to my experience And when I have a chance, I'm also trying to take pictures like in the reflections, you know, like in this case in the mirror, because I think it's just the pictures that turn out a little bit more interesting and a little bit more, more unique. The viewer, they would like to watch a little bit maybe longer what's happening on this picture. That's why when I have a chance, I'm just trying to be a little bit more creative, not just, you know, to uh, point the camera to the bride's face and then always take pictures with her in the middle. And then here she was almost ready and then I was also using as my light source the ring light from the makeup artist. It's also actually a really cool tool if you don't have your flashes and you have the makeup artist on location. You can also cooperate with her or with him and then you can also use the ring light because it gives a little bit more softer light. Especially if you don't have enough experience with your flashes then you're also able to control these lights a little bit better. And here, guys, I went back to my window. Actually, I love this spot so much. So I was taking so many pictures through this window. Because as, as, you, as you saw in the room, I didn't have so many options. That's why I had to be creative. And then through the window, I also took some pictures with using the flashes. And then also with the natural lights, with all these different kind of reflections. I love, 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 love these pictures very, very much. I think they turned out pretty cool. And almost in the end, uh, I took my signature pictures. I say signature because <laughs> the makeup artists that I work with, they know already that in the end we are going to take this kind of pictures with the spray, with the hairspray. I find them pretty cool. The clients, they absolutely love them. And uh, the way I do it, like it's just uh, the same principle as you saw in the beginning. I have the flash behind the bride from the other side of the table. And then I uh, was hiding <laughs> outside, taking pictures through the window. And here, almost in the end, we took pictures of the bride uh, with the veil. Usually, I also take pictures how she's getting ready, how she's getting in into the dress, and the friends, you know, family, like mother, sister, the best friend, they're helping her out to put, put on the dress. But this time, unfortunately, we didn't manage because the time schedule, it was super tight. That's why I don't even have any pictures taken of the rings or of the bouquet or, you know, her or, or just of the dress because we simply didn't have time for that. Because usually at the weddings, like, according to my experience, I always tell to my clients to plan more time for couple photo shoot, more time for the guests and ready photo shoot because things go wrong and it's not uh, our fault as photographers. Sometimes guests, they would like to make a surprise for the brides or maybe, you know, the makeup 
makeup artist is running late, like things happen. And this time the schedule was tight, so I had to be super quick with the pictures. But I think even with the tight schedule, we managed to take some nice pictures. But unfortunately, this time I'm not able to show to you like this whole program that I usually do with the dress, with the invitation cards, with the bouquet, with the rings. But for me, I'm more like a people photographer, so these kind of details, also my clients, they don't really request it. I usually do it when I have time and I have nothing else to do. The bride, she's not ready just yet, and then I need to use my time wisely, and then I take this kind of pictures, but I'm more like people photographer, and people are more fun for me to photograph and not just, you know, the rings and the details. I find it actually pretty boring <laughs> from time to time, if I'm honest with you. And that was it for today, guys. I really do hope you found this video helpful and you could learn something new. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to talk about some different topics that are interesting for you. If you would like maybe me to make an extra video about, about the getting ready of the brides with some ideas that I usually do at the weddings because this time it was just behind the scenes video. But I can also, of course, talk a little bit deeper about this topic or maybe I should make a video about the flashes, how I use, uh, how I usually use them in my wedding photography because in the beginning flash, they scared me so, so, so much. <laughs> I didn't know how to to use them I didn't know what to do with them it was just super scary but now I know and I am really happy to share my knowledge with you guys so just let me know if you have some topics in mind that uh, we should talk about and I will be really happy to help you as much as I can and for now guys I wish you all a wonderful day stay amazing beautiful creative wonderful uh, amazing <laughs> I said it already but never mind so double amazing stay double amazing as you are enjoy your day and see you in one week Week. bye bye lots of love from germany bye bye